Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Attingham Park. Right guys, it will be the last Attingham Park of the week. We've we've been on it a little while now. Um, but yeah, it is going to be the uh, the last one of the week. We'll get back to a bit of a, a normal schedule for now. I say for now. Um, yeah, I've got my harvest over on uh, Bally Springs left to finish and yeah. Old Stream Farm. I can't remember what we were doing on Old Stream Farm. It's been a it's been a while since we started this series. Yeah, I've just had so much fun playing on this series, guys. Over on Attingham Park, and just yeah. Well, why wouldn't you want to keep them going when you're just having so much fun using different equipment? Because we've got different financial uh, over here, and yeah, just uh... there we go. I knew it was around there somewhere. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of uh, a lot of wood chips to sell, guys, over in the next month or two. I'm not 100% sure exactly what month it is we need to sell wood chips. It was something I was meant to look at yesterday. Well, that's just doing that. Let's just take a quick gander at where we're meant to be. Wood chips is in January. January, yeah, January time. Okay, so this could actually be really, really interesting. We could make a large sum of money in the next couple of months which will most likely buy us a new tractor we do need to get our hands on another tractor like i say i'm still going to use this jcb for now because you know i did pay to rent at the end of the day so why why not someone might disagree say well you shouldn't really use that one because you know look if i'm paying to rent it and i don't need to use it because i'm doing it a slightly different way then i'm going to use what i can to my ability to speed up some of this job who, who wouldn't? Where there's a will, uh, there's a way. Right, we've got 42% over in there. I am... I am glad I'm using this uh, tractor, actually, because I am still struggling quite badly to uh, get any kind of decent power down. I think we're going to have maybe this trailer, maybe one more trailer. Something like that. It's Like I said, I don't want to take out every single tree. I do want to leave a couple. But if we can... Uh, if we can just get a few more taken down, get the scent a bit done. Maybe didn't want to take that one out, to be honest. Maybe should have. That was maybe one of them ones I should have left. Let's have a look. Let's go this way. We need a we need a smaller tree because there's not much uh, there's not much room left. Okay. Interesting. That tree will not come down. Interesting. Right, let's try this one. Should be the same as this one. Yeah, hopefully the um, the sugar mills. By the way, guys, if you care to notice, I I've got a couple of things I meant to say. It's because I've been doing trucking on an afternoon and for the new channel and stuff, and I've just kind of forgotten where I was over on here. Um, yeah. So if you notice, we've got no money. Um, I did a I did drive to the uh, I didn't drive to the sugar place, but I did go down to the sugar place, and I was like, mm, do we buy it? Do we not? And then I thought, screw it, and I bought it. So any sugar that goes in there from the harvest will technically get paid twice. So that can continue going down into the sugar place. And yeah, we'll just um, we'll just sell the sugar as and when, really. Might keep some sugar for another production. I'm not really sure yet. Like I say, we're gonna have all this wood chip stuff. So I'm thinking with the wood chips here, we'll. Um, probably buy another production I, i'm not really sure which one i wouldn't mind getting the dairy but it does mean we have to move milk every day and not automatically sell it so i don't know if milk's going to be something we jump into i suppose at the end of the day can i do chocolate on this map because if i can i might as well put a dairy near our farm because then i can do cheese and chocolate 
Plus, I can bring in a mod for cheese, chocolate, um, ice cream. You know, I can, I can do one for for more basically. Right, I am going to give you a bit of a pre warning as well, guys. At some point, my wife has got more parcels coming today. My wife has been shopping. She's getting little bits and bats for clothing wise and some new bits and bats for the house when we eventually buy a new house and yeah she's she's getting stuff while she can and she finds it cheaper and stuff which I can kind of understand the only downside is it's only ever me that gets interrupted for the uh, the parcel man and all it does is trigger the dog <laughs> There we go. That tree will come down. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, there we... Oh, no, there is actually... No, there is another tree there. I've got three trees left to take down, guys. And then I can get this thing turned back to the... Uh, back to the store. If it fits or doesn't fit, I'm not going to empty to come back. We will just... Um... Leave it as it is. Now, we've got 62%. That should be enough. Just need to double check that. There's no trees, like, out in the middle. No trees in the middle there. No trees in the middle there. No, no, no. That looks... Pretty good. Like I say, it's just so we can try and build a little bit of a yard in here, get some more equipment. Um, ideally, I should I should take every tree out. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take them out on the edge, because I will plant some more if I don't like it. But I'm only going to do this until this is full. Once this is full, I'm not going to do any more. 91% But I have had the odd couple of uh, stumps as well guys that's been a nightmare Now if anyone's wondering why at the beginning of this series I said if I took a tree out I would just give myself a thousand pound I can tell you now guys we've got about a million pound in wood chips So now if you remember and you think to yourself well that's why I was just going to give myself a thousand pound a tree. It's because it would have been uh, technically uh, easier and not quite as OP as this. But I did pay a lot of money to rent the machine. But at the end of the day, I am. There we go. I wouldn't turn off for some reason. Yeah. Lovely. No, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. And there's another 250,000 litres of wood chip. But yeah, that will definitely do for me on the wood chip side of things. We'll probably be selling them in the... Uh... Well, I don't know, actually. We could maybe sell them in this episode. I don't want to be in uh, November for long, to be honest. Because it's a little bit... Well, apart from wood chips, uh, what else have we got to do? I think we've just got... The one ploughing contract on field 13, which I started off recording, and we've just got the sugar there. But yeah, to be fair, we haven't really got much else to do. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we... Uh... Oh, I am I am tempted to do another sugar beet. Oh, it goes to... Oh, this one goes to country stock. Oh, yeah, none of them will go to the sugar shack anymore, will they? Right, let me uh, let me send that back. Oh, what we got there? Oh, that's actually not too bad. That I quite like that. Um, I haven't got the finances to fund that just yet, though. So forestry equipment, we'll return that. We're we're gonna make some massive uh, massive money on wood chips. And like I say, yeah, it'll be a little bit OP, but it's gonna keep this series moving along. It means we can get some more fields a bit quicker. I did say we'd sell the silage and buy some fields, and we ended up not doing that. What did we do? Oh, yeah, we bought the production. We bought the sugar production since we're doing that sugar contract. But that's where the first lot of silage money went. And I, I think, to be honest, that was a a good call, to be honest. I'm going to say, why won't you drop? But, yeah, there we go. 
So what we're going to do now, I'm going to just send that to the shop. I just want to keep an eye on everything. That looking really well over there. He's looking really well over there. Um, he's looking at... Hey, I've got a question though. Now I know... Can't... Unload. So when it gets to 90%, it should... After unloading the combine, go directly at this fill point, 90%. This is 90, it was 98% full and it didn't, or is it because it didn't finish emptying the harvester before it hit full? I, I'm not, I don't know. Either way, it'll cost me a little bit more money, but you can look at the dent that's making now. I'm really impressed with that. I think it's doing really, really well. Now, I hope this actually does bugger off to the uh, sugar place. Yes, it does. I just wanted to confirm that it was going to work because I know sometimes it can have a little bit of a glitch. Um, I think we're gonna have. A, I think we're gonna have a bit of a car crash here. Or we're gonna have a tractor crash. Um. Yeah. Right. Let me just. That if that goes to the end of here and turns right, they're gonna crash into each other. Which is fine. I'll just have to manually. I'll just have to manually move this one. It's the only downside when you make one track with a two-way course like what I've done. You do run the risk of having... Yeah. You do run the risk of doing this. Having uh, having the meat. Like, if you, if you actually made a loop around the map and they only went one, like in one direction around the map, you wouldn't have that problem because they'd never run into each other. All right, you'd waste wages on them trying to get round you know round the map so to speak but because i did it this way and cut it through like that they would have met in the middle and that would have um that would have caused an accident but yeah guys we've got nothing else we can do in this month other than other than this so i i think i'm, I'm just trying to get back to my car now i think we just go into december and maybe look at start selling some stuff because we've got quite a bit to sell I've also brought in a new greenhouse style production. Um, I don't know if anyone looked on Mod Hub. Not, well, it was yesterday for me. Obviously, this video goes out the day after. But yeah, I am um, just out of curiosity to see what people think of it. I don't, I've not used it yet. I've I've not activated it. Right, I can't show you it then, guys. It basically makes trees and plants and stuff instead of that one. Um, I just want to double check on our production. It has run out once again. Oh, it's run out of seed this time. It has run out of seed. Are we doing for manure now? We've got um, 7,000 litres of manure. Right. So let us get some seed into the production. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't activate that mod. There's me going to talk about this, this new awesome new mod that came out and I haven't even activated it. That's absolutely silly. Right, right, I just, uh, important email, I just, well, email, text, I just needed to do a quick reply to. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get some sheds down here as well over the next couple of uh, episodes as well. Probably do it once we've sold some stuff. Well, we can't do anything till we've sold some stuff, to be honest, because of, uh, we won't have the finances otherwise. Yeah, I've got a few options for sheds. It's massively opened up here though, hasn't it? I say it's a bit bare now and I probably will... Oh, there you go. He's going the biogas way. Can you see him? He's going to the biogas. Oh, I wasn't quick enough to get a screenshot. <laughs> I wasn't quick enough to get a screenshot. Uh, ooh, that was perfectly uh, perfectly done for that. But yeah, this will be the last longer episode, guys. I have noticed that the um, viewership has dramatically dropped um, due to the longer episodes. But I will do a slightly longer episode than the 30 minutes today, just because it's the last one of the week. I wanna I wanna get as much done as I can, really. Um,
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Has all my grass disappeared? I was hoping to get the grass cut again before winter. I never thought of that. I could have done that in November. I never thought about that. Right, But right now, let's have a look in the shop. That's a pretty wicked little tractor. 150 brake horsepower. That's pretty cool. I like that. I do like this though, guys. Telehandler. Looking like a good deal. Uh, 20... 30,000 litre capacity. That's not bad. That is not bad at all, to be honest. Right, those seeds are in there. So that is now doing that production there. Right, originally what I came in here to do was wood chips was... Wood chips price is still on the way up. Barley is at... The barley is at 380. 380 litres per... Per thousand litres. We'll call it per ton, just... Out of curiosity so what we need to do now we need to get the uh, the big trailer on because that's what I said we were going to use that for um, selling of things and stuff like that I might go and start selling the wood chips now as well I tell you what I will do actually we'll up that time to we'll up that time to 10 because I don't think we're gonna need we're gonna need that anymore we, we don't want to be in December forever we've still got a lot of money in wood chips over here so I, I don't see the point in staying this month for long. There's nothing else other than selling to do in in December. So if we can just get sold and then we can get into January and then that way we can keep the series moving along. Like I said, that's why we've got this tr huge unrealistic trailer just for selling. Now I've had some people comment and like, oh yeah, you know, Matt, we... we I wouldn't mind doing multiple runs until we got that green trailer yesterday it was a little bit it was a little bit much um, I'm not gonna keep any feed guys we're not gonna get any chickens this year we'll wait till the next harvest uh, fermenting is also done apparently that ferment I don't really know what's going on there with that fermenting that's a little bit too quick um, Yep, so there's plenty of food here. So we do need to put that silage straight into there. Uh, we've got... Let me see. No, 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 that's fine. That's still at 3,000. The... Uh, that might be a bit of a problem, actually. Um, it, next month, the grass is going to disappear. If that grass disappears in the sheep pen, we may not have enough grass to feed them for more than a month. We might have to go do some quick grass work. Go in the sheep pen with the uh, forage harvester and the trailer and basically just... Yeah, we, we need to keep some grass bales as backup. There we go. So we have now got 120,000 litres. Now, I just need to know where I'm going to sell this. And I've missed it. Um, barley. Where is barley? 380 right now. Really? It's at the one place I didn't want to sell, so... Um, old water mill. I'll tell you what. Old water mill. I want to see if I've never delivered anything to the old water mill yet. And I want to just make sure that the auto drive course there is working really, really well. Now that is, that has just been to my production. So that is really, really good. If we look on the production now, we now have... Why is that? Why is the contract not giving it to us? I paid £80,000 for that production and it's not... Gi I get we're doing a contract. Oh, that is not good. That means I... I expected that to give me production. I expected that to give me sugar. Ah, oh, no way. I've just blown £80,000 on that building. 
Oh, why isn't that working, guys? I ex I genuinely expected that to give me sugar. Oh, I am... That has just, like, kind of screwed me over a little bit. Look at that. He's going that way now. He's doing a fantastic job. I know it's a little bit like farm manager mode at the moment, guys. I just want to see how that old mill... Um, sells. Sells at the old mill. As you can see, he goes around there. So, yeah, he's me making them huge. You can see the little white line on there. That's the white line that it takes to... Uh, Oh, I'm... I'm fuming. We're going to run out of solid fertilizer here again. I can't keep up with the demand of this solid fertilizer, guys. That's why I brought in that new one. I know it only uses... It uses more solid fertilizer than anything else. I just... I can't keep up with the demand of it. Right, I believe this is the first time it's gone this way. It may get stuck on the bridge, guys. So I do want to just... Have a little look at this. It will go slow because it's... No. It can go as slow as it wants as long as it doesn't crash. So that is on there like that. Where is my... You should technically turn right here. Right, okay. It's overloaded and it won't get out of first gear. This is why I need slightly more power. I'm going to just drive it up here because I'm kind of sick of waiting for this to uh, get from A to B. Just too much weight for this tractor, that's all it is. If we had the weight limit on, I think it would have taken maybe 20,000 litres. So, you know, my idea... Worker Philip has a full grain tank. Like, the JCB's coming, mate. The JCB is on its way. It's... There. It's literally just around the corner from you. But yeah, I do want to put this... Uh, this on, because at the end of the day... I want to I wanna test it, but we can test it when we get closer. But if I man if I put this back onto the auto driver now, it'll it'll drop back down to first gear. So at least at the moment while I'm driving I can manually just change the gears and we can get driving at 30 mile an hour. It is slowly increasing. Yeah, I wanna get that um, like challenger tank uh, challenger tank <laughs> challenger tank. Uh the challenger tractor. Um I know it's a little bit underpriced what it is, but again, the modder set it at that price. I don't change the price of any mods. Ever. So, yeah, let's see if we can uh, sell our, our barley. And we'll probably start selling some wood chips as well. I could do with the uh, Valter actually finishing the ploughing contract. But if he finishes the ploughing contract, he can then go and sell with his trailer. That's kind of why I got that Valter and I've ended up just doing loads and loads of contracts with it, to be honest. But he's only 62% through that contract. So he's going to be quite a long time yet. Right. Tell you what, actually. No, I'm going to... I'm going to manually drive you as close as I can. Otherwise, you're just going to... You're just going to stop. The old water mill is down here. Right, let's just see. I just want to make sure it gets in there and gets out without any problems. Are you with me? Because I think it's going to have a problem. Is it? Let, uh, let me show you. Look, my little one-way course there. Are you really not going to... Really? Uh, it's all right. I had it on drive and not deliver. My bad. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll do farm yard. Like I said, I just want to make sure that it... Right, 
So as you can see, it's got a problem. It can't reach the farmyard from here. I wouldn't mind, but it could get here. This is me manually driving, doing the crashing. So yeah, as you can see, it's giving me some proper... Uh, Let me just try that. I've just made that into there. Can you get to the farm yet? Right, so that's what it was. Right, it was trying to register the wrong line, guys. That's all it was. But yeah, he can drive all the way back to the farmyard now. Right, yeah. That's why I wanted to check it. I'd never been here before, and I just wanted to check it. I'm a little bit gutted, though, that that is not giving me any sugar from this production. Once we've completed the contract, though... That's what it is, sorry. That's what it is. It's not going to give me the sugar until it's finished its actual contract. It's all right. I'm getting a little bit confused with what I'm trying to get done here. That looks like more than 25% overlap there, Mr. Valtra. Not, you know, just saying. Oh, the Valtra is low on fuel, guys. The Valtra is low on fuel as well. So that is not looking over great. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's going to make its way back now. That is looking really, really good there. Yeah, let me go to the sheep. I know I'm just jumping around a little bit today. Let's have a look what contrast there is. Uh, plowing, harvesting. Let's have a look. Any new contracts? Uh, no. Straw. That just timed out. Um, silage. That's, that's no. That's, I'm not going all that way for absolutely nothing. So no, right, so the only thing I can do right now is... Um, I know what I'm going to say. I want this one. If we get the front loader back on, we've got to get some, uh, some work. Do I still have... Do I... Did I buy that device or did I not buy that device? Let's have a look. Um, uh, no. Uh, you suck. So I didn't buy that tool. I was going to get the tool to pick up the uh, silage, put it in that trailer. Hundred thirty six down so it all won't fit in there anyway. Right, we need that tool that I had last time. Where was it? It was under under belt system, wasn't it? I think it's worth buying one of these. Don't have the money yet though. Right, so I'm gonna leave that for now just because I don't have the money. I need to sell these wood chips. Right, give me one minute, guys. Right, guys, I've been talking for ages, and yeah, right. Automatically just selling of these wood chips, guys, because I want to make sure that it can get into there on its own, basically. Um, I don't think it's going to be able to. I think it's going to be too, too narrow. I did this with a different trailer. The trailer I did this with had more more turning on it but i just want to make sure this can do this if this can get in there on its own i already got it preset to loop three more times we've got a million liters of wood chips to sell i know it's a little bit op but i'm look i'm i don't like doing woodwork if this is the only way i do woodwork then this is the only way i do woodwork so it'll do for me but as you can see that has just managed to get into there and get up to where it is now that will sell them automatically now it did have problems getting into here um it did try and go up the wrong place are we are we not gonna is that trying to
Right, okay. I, I don't know what's going on with this then. Fill it full of wood chips. Pick up and... Uh, it's alright, guys. I'm, I'm an idiot. I've got it set backwards. Like a freaking idiot. I've got it set backwards like an idiot. I've got it to try and pick up wood chips from here. Oh, right. Yeah. I haven't got over long left for this recording today. Um, let me see. I want... The first recording was kind of where I'd like to be at the time. But the, like I said, I've still got a few little bugs on this. But if I do and fix the bugs off for the recording, we're going to miss all the sell points and times to sell and stuff. That was £103,000 for 200 Oh my god, we're going to make a fortune here. We're going to make a fortune. This may get stuck. I don't know. I don't know if it will or not. I just want to see. No, no, he's, he's doing well. So we've got. Um, so we need to. We need to upload that to four more trips, I think. I'll leave him to it. Um, is my car. Is my. No, it, it's just arriving back now. Alright, the voucher has now completed its contract as well. We do need to get paid for that. I should have left that. £10,000. There we go. Like I say, some of it's a bit automated at the moment. Some of it's gonna, some of it'll get better as we, as we get um, more so. Like I say, we're still learning the ropes for this. I think it's time to buy some fields though while we've got some money. So I think we will buy. Uh, well, that's oh. So I think we buy that field. Ooh. I'm tempted to buy that one, Field 29. Now, I know it's going to cost me quite a lot of money. All right. It's going to buy me. It's going to cost me a lot of money. But, although, hang on. Did I just make a mistake then? It's ready now. It's ready now. Right. So, we can use the money we've just got to rent a big sugar bean. We can use our blue trailer to go and get it. Now, I know I know you shouldn't really buy a field technical, but we will keep the field. And what we'll do is we'll look at getting a... We might look at getting sugar. Yeah, well, we've got sugar now, haven't we? So we might as well do sugar. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get sugar bee planted straight back into there. I've, I've come here for my blue trailer, but I haven't got a blue trailer. Right. Okay. So I'm. I am. I'm. I'm now in a bit of a pickle. I need that to sell all this wood chip before I can rent a sugar beet harvester. Now, what are we looking at here? Sugar beet harvester. Beet technology. Um. Just give me a minute. If I do nineteen thousand, but we need a header. 19,000, call it twenty. call it 23,000, we'll get changed from 23, that's 24, so we are better off getting the Roper Panther 2, we are better off getting the Roper Panther 2, um, that would be better, to be honest, 4 meters, but it, yeah, I think that's, th I think that red one's cheaper. Uh, it's more expensive, but I think it's wider, sorry. I think that's approximately 3 metres. That would be 2.7 metres. We'd only save a 1,000. So I think we will maybe look at getting the Grime Rexor 6300 Platinum. Now, it's going to be £24,000. So that's going to take half the money we've got right now. But that's fine. That's fine. Because i tell you what I'm thinking of doing right now. Um, I don't know why I've turned that off. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. But I just want to... I just want to babysit this one more time. Um, off recording. Just to make sure it does actually... Because if you care to notice now, guys. It's it's not going where it should be. 
that should be lined up with the silo. I haven't got the money to put the silage into the pit. I haven't managed to get any buildings in yet in our new wooded area. But that's fine. We've got plenty of time to get these buildings in. Um, we've got a new field. We've, I can't believe we just bought a massive new field, to be honest. That's really, really good. So I'm really impressed with that. And uh, yeah, I think next week when we get back into uh, Attingham Party, we'll, you know, we'll have, like I said, I'll only sell this one more load. Um, I'll probably get the harvester on lease and I'll get it shifted down to the field. Because like I said, that gives us something to do. But I might wait till January. And I'll tell you the reason why I'm going to wait till January. I, it's half past two nearly now in December. December's nearly over. I don't want a daily fee on a machine as expensive as a beet harvester. So I think that's going to be the best thing we can do. Uh, but I am going to leave this episode here, guys. Like I said, I'm just going to babysit this once off recording, make sure it gets there. Um, and until the next episode, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, guys. It's massively important you hit that like button. And I'll see you all on uh, the next episode.